Good morning. Sponsors coming up and giving a talk on that. Uh, next. Uh, social. 
uh, Hacking Village closes at uh, 6 p.m. and all the contests end. So if you want to get your, your hash on in, go over there before 6. Okay. And close the remarks. Swag. Swag at the end of the day. Bonfire. So we are currently here. At uh, 7.30 p.m. we will walk this trail, which will be lighted for you, down to the RV park, which will have the bonfire. We'll have pizza and uh, soda and all that good stuff. All right, it's a good time hanging around the fire. Nothing foams, there's no talks. There's just a bunch of people sitting around the fire having a good time. Right? And food. Yes, Woo! food. Uh, and again, this is not a minute joke. I forgot what that was. Uh, logistics, parking. If you haven't gotten your parking pass, you really need to get one because they do ticket you. They're available at the registration desk. If we, we only have a limited amount, if they run out, I'm sorry, you have to purchase parking. It's a free con for that bed. Uh, but make sure you purchase parking because the ticket is a lot more than it costs to purchase the parking. Okay? Uh, we have to be out of here by 8 p.m. What I mean out of here is the kind of women who work here want to go home by 8 p.m. So we need to be out of here by 8 p.m., right? Uh, bathrooms are directly behind here. There's only two, one male, one female. Uh, we can tell which group will the bathroom will be used a little bit more. It's kind of flipped from where the room is. But uh, make sure to keep it clean, please. Uh, if the garbage is full, come and find a volunteer. Um, layout. This is the speaker room. To my right, your left, is the sponsor room. All right. In addition, the career fair is over there. To my left and your right is the hacker village. Out in the patio, in the patio space, and <coughs> some more patio space to sit around. And hang out. Okay, internet. Good luck. Uh, there is Wi-Fi here. It's currently up and running. Right. <laughs> now, well run is really kind of up in the air. We'll see. Uh, food, I don't know that. Come forward. Yeah. Now we switch. <laughs> okay, so the idea with the Hacking Village this year was I wanted to do something a little bit different. We've been doing, uh, you know, some of the standard villages year after year, and those are awesome. But let's let's branch out, let's try some new stuff. So what are we doing this year? We've got three main things going on over in the Hacker Village. One is the Internet of Things Village. Uh, there is a house of fail. It's pretty easy to identify. It's covered in Christmas lights. Uh, those devices are essentially open for hacking, disassembly, uh, pulling out uh, firmware, all kinds of stuff. Uh, if anything is not to be touched, it's pretty much labeled as, please do not take this apart. Um, and then uh, we also have a cryptocurrency village. What are we doing with the cryptocurrency? So uh, our guest speakers, PowerCycle and Barbie, are going to be talking about Monero specifically, but they're also doing a variety of other topics. Uh, and starting at noon today, there is going to be a cryptocurrency treasure hunt. So uh, if you're interested in that, come see me and uh, we'll get that going. Uh, we also have a capture the flag. So it's a standard um, uh, Jeopardy style capture the flag. And are any of the CTF guys here in the room? Okay, they're, they're busy setting up the CTF. So uh, at 10, when the village opens, come visit and we'll get you going on that. There are tables set up in there with locks on them but you are welcome to move the locks aside and put your laptop there. There's power supplied. There's also specifically a separate Wi-Fi for the CTF. Uh, and we also have an old classic but favorite lock picking. So Cannibal's running lock picking. We have uh, beginner locks. We have advanced locks. We have uh, really secure locks. So whatever your skill level is, come check it out. Um, and you may find uh, some interesting picks put out on the table. So come. Come see how that looks. Next slide, please. Again, this is fun. Okay, raise me. So this is our career uh, fair run by Lori, who I believe is over in the other, oh, the tall blonde lady in the back. She will be over in the sponsor room. Uh, the career fair here, uh, basically we have a global info, info sex shortage, right? Great career opportunities for everyone here. Uh, that's good news. Bad news for the general security of the free world. That's a little dramatic, but let's go with it. Uh, so over here, we have career development, and we have uh, job hunting. The idea, if you have a resume, you can bring it over. You can send it in. If you've already sent your re resumes in, you need to see her to see uh, the critiques she's given you. We're here to help you as much as we can to improve your resume, to give you the best shot at getting a job, and introduce you to any of the sponsors who are looking for talent like yours. All right, so if you are job hunting, we have wristbands. Job hunting wristbands are red. 
the job looking wristbands are not red. I forget what color they are. Green. Green. I picked them. I should remember that. Uh, so if you, uh, if you put on a red wristband, it means you're looking for work. If you have a green wristband, you two should connect. All right? Uh, next slide. Oh, you have another one. I'd like to mention also we have two workshops running this afternoon in the Hacking Village. So the first workshop is going to be a mobile malware reversing workshop. And the second workshop is going to be uh, uh, breaking crypto the easy way with feather, feather duster. So um, we only have six slots per workshop. So it's very limited space. We're calling them micro workshops just because we didn't have the room this year to be able to do anything more. So the way this is going to work is that if you are interested in that, it is going to be a first come, first served basis. Over in the Hacking Village, you're going to talk to um, April, who is sitting at the table that's in that corner of the room. And uh, she will get you signed up for one of those slots. Once we're out of room, we're out of room, you're welcome to come view what's going on, but you won't have a seat and you won't have an area to plug in. So um, next year, we'll be expanding that capability a lot. But uh, this year, please come sign up for those, those limited slots while you still can. All right, we have to, we kind of have to go a little quick here so uh, we can get our keynote speaker here. But if you want to, these are the Raise Me activities. We have a, there's a ton of effort put into this Raise Me. If you're looking for jobs, you're looking for career advancement, please head over there, talk to Lori. She's in the very back of the sponsor room, so back against this wall, that room over there. All right, and she will get you set up. Okay, these are our sponsors. Please give a hand of applause for our sponsors. This is impossible without our sponsors. All right, when, when you're eating the food, when you're having all the, the free drinks, all that stuff, remember, in your belly, that good feeling. Think about the sponsors when you have that, all right? <laughs> we have the district attorney. They're our co-sponsor. Uh, Los Angeles District Attorney's Office. They're our co-sponsor. They have, uh, they helped uh, the group out with B-Sides. They've continued that relationship with uh, ShellCon, the new venture. Netflix, came, uh, Netflix, White Ops, HackerOne, and Palo Alto are all our platinum sponsors. Um, that means they gave us, basically that means they gave us the most money, that's the honest truth. Uh, so they helped pay for the most stuff. White Ops also paid for lunch, all right, so Woo! that is awesome. Uh, we have at our uh, engage level, we have point three uh, and productivity. Uh, point three is going to have a very exciting raffle today. You should go over and talk to them in their booth. Palo Alto is also having a raffle. Most, uh, there's raffles and swag all over that room. So you need to go check it out. There's flasks, just putting it out there. There's flasks over there. Uh, so really good stuff over there. TerraHash and Rapid7, uh, they, they came in our core uh, sponsorship level. Uh, and they, were, they are all really great. Rapid7 has sponsored us before. Productivity sponsored us before. We have some really great sponsors coming back this year. So make sure you stand over there. You check out the room. Thank them for us. Uh, Riff Recon, Cytense, and No Starch Prince were all contributing sponsors. Uh, we have some uh, raffle prizes from Riff Recon uh, this afternoon, which you are not going to want to miss out on. Some really good stuff there. Cytense is sponsoring the CTF prizes. Uh, no Starch Press, we have raffles, uh, free books, and, and that to give away. Um, and there's a raffle for the uh, career fair. Honestly, there's so many raffles here, I kind of forget. So check out the sponsor room. They're all over there. There's a lot of free stuff to be given away. Make sure you get some. Um, all right, we also have a community sponsors, Witty, CSA, Scale, uh, DC562, ISSA, and OWASP. They also have a table. They have some great events locally. Uh, make sure you go and talk to them. See how you can, after this event, see what you can uh, learn from them. They're excellent uh, groups. Okay, and then these are the big versions. And that's it. So uh, we are going to give our keynote speaker, Malware Unicorn, which I know everyone's really excited about. I know I am. Uh, we're going to give her a few minutes to set up. Uh, be back in here. What time is it now? Okay, be back in here in 10:15. Uh, All right. So go ahead, mingle, get some drinks, and uh, that's it. Thank you very much for coming. Let's see how the con goes. <laughs>